Hi Gemini, welcome to your Week Ahead Towerscope with me, Raphael, from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your Sun, Moon and Ascendant signs. So whether you're a Sun, Moon or Rising sign, uh, Gemini, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they speak to you. Remember, these are general readings. They're not going to speak to, and not everything is going to speak to you or for you. And that's fine. And remember to use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So for your key to the week this week, you have ooh, the tower card, right? So it looks like there's going to be some big realizations mo moments this week or... In a lot of ways, maybe this is just a piece of information that comes to you that you're not really sure what to do with at the moment. Um, sometimes, you know, the information that we get or the, the thing that comes into our life, we don't really know what to do with it at that moment in time. It's only later, at some point further down the line, that we think, ah, you know what? Um, this could be a flash of insight as well. Like, as a, an example, there were things that I'd written down as, you know, like you write notes on your phone or you, you know, you do a little voice note about something. Um, there are things that I'd written four, maybe five, possibly even six years ago that at the time I was like, oh, that's just cool. I don't really know what I'm going to do with it, but I'll leave it there. Four or five years later, it's now becoming relevant to me. It's now being woven into some of the new things that I'm creating. So whatever comes in for you this week, don't chuck it away just because you can't make sense of it immediately. It will make sense to you at a later date. All right, so let's have a look at your actions and options this week. What are you doing, Gemini? This week you have the strength card, right? So literally digging deep on that internal level, but it's the strength card, right? This is you demonstrating your strength in some way, shape or form. This is about you letting people know that you are aware of your gifts, aware of your talents, aware of your skills. It's about digging deep and putting yourself out there. It's about going out on a limb, having the strength and the courage to literally put yourself and your talents out into the world, having the courage to enact what it is that you are here for, what it is that, that you believe is your purpose, what it is that the universe has ordained for you to be or to be known for. This is your time, Gemini. In some way, shape or form, this week you are getting ready to launch yourself out into the world. What I love most about this as well is that the, your Mercury, your ruler, is finally moving direct. Um, I don't know about anybody else, but this one had me all up in that intensity, boy. It was like, uh, I was just, everything felt like it was set to an 11. And then on most days, uh, like outside of that, it was like a 15. So I'm really glad this one's over, I have to be honest. For your communications and conversations, you do have the five of caps. So right underneath the tower card, right? So we're gonna call a spade a spade. This is quite possibly an argument that could kick off this week, I'm sorry to say. I truly hope that I'm wrong on this, but you've got the five of pen the five of caps, loss, mourning, grief, challenge of some kind, letting go, releasing something, and it's right underneath the tower card. Because we're talking about your communications here, I feel like this is something that you have that you can no longer sit on, something that you can no longer be closed-lipped about. It's like this week you are ready to roar and it's like, you know what? I'm gonna say what I need to say. I'm gonna speak my truth. Like Gemini's are known, you, go, you guys are known for being able to talk. But this week it really feels like what you're saying isn't the usual light-heartedness that people, are, people know you for, let's say. Like this week you have something to say and it kind of feels like, you know, even if somebody's disgruntled by what it is that you have to say, like you really don't give a crap, to be honest with you. And that's not to be mean, it's more a case of I've kept my mouth shut, I've held back, I've not said what I wanted to say and now it's over, right? Now I have to say what I have to say. And if you're not interested, then, you know, it is what it is. Um, it does feel like it is going to be an argument though. So for those of you that are employed by somebody else, this could be an argument between you and the boss. It may come about very suddenly. And in, you know, the other person's eyes, it might be like, oh, well, you know, where has all of this come from? What they don't know is that you've been biting your tongue for the last five weeks. 
Do you know what I mean? Like, and this could be that moment where like the proverbial, you know, someone says good morning and you just, <laughs> and they're like, uh, okay, <laughs> what happened there then? Um, for those of you that are employ uh, business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, etc., cetera, um, very similar energy, but I feel like this is gonna be with a client. Um, I feel like this is not, not an employee or somebody that's like a peer, I feel like a, a client is either going to overstep the mark, overstep the bounds, or, you know, they're going to try to throw their weight around like, well, you know, if you don't do this, then maybe I'll just have to, to find somewhere else to go or to take my money. And you're just like, you know what? Why don't you fucking do that? I don't need anything that much to bend over backwards for you. Do you know what I mean? Like, and it feels again, like this is a long time coming. It doesn't feel like something that just comes out of the blue. It might appear that way, but it is you responding to something that seems to have been going on for a while. Uh, for those of you that are um, retired or no longer working in any way, uh, the Five of Cups, and it is with the Tower card, I mean, this could be news of somebody who has bad health, but it could just as easily be news of a breakup or a split that really makes you kind of like go, oh my God, you know, I thought you guys were gonna be together forever. You, you know, it could be, maybe you hear of, you know, friends that have been married 20, 30 years that get, you know, that split up or, you know, maybe your parents say, look, you know what, we're, we're going our separate ways. It, it feels like a breakup that you are either witnessing or hearing of, but it's like, whoa like where did that come from what you don't know is just like with the gemini's who will be experiencing this directly it looks like it's something that's been coming for a while for your money and materials you've got the five of pentacles um oof. all right so you've got two fives here first thing that i want to two fives represents a vigil what is a vigil it is basically like a, a mini ritual and what this suggests is this week you've got to check your thoughts right you where this goes everything else is going to flow and it's going to magnetize more of that stuff to itself you got to check in with your mind with your thoughts with your intentions this week really really important now for your money and materials and your finances it looks like you're wanting to move ahead but maybe the bank balance hasn't isn't in a place to follow yet but you gotta start anyway, all right? That's not to say be reckless and go and, you know, I don't know, hire a, a hall for 50,000 pounds or dollars or whatever, like, don't get reckless, but you've gotta start with what you have, right? Because you're envisioning that what you need and what you're hoping to have will come. Um, you know, unfortunately, it's not the other way around. It has to be that way. And this week, I feel like you're getting a big dose of that. It's like, oh. Well, I don't quite have the money to make this work, but this is like one of those moments where it is a bit of a leap of faith, but at the same time, it's also having a, a, a belief or a, 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 a self-courage of, of some kind. For your uh, physical health and vitality, this is gonna be your um, throat, your neck, and your voice. So if, like me, you work in any of these fields where you're using it this week, you've got to look after your voice. Uh, especially with the Tower and the Five of Cups in the communications, because that could literally be, you lose your voice. Um, not ideal, right? Especially if you work in... <laughs> Unless you can deliver your sessions in interpretive dance. Um, I, I know you would love to see me. That's how this next week's Tower readings are going to all be expressive dance. Um, you know, all jokes aside. Uh, for your home and environment, this is the Five of Pentacles underneath the Strength card. Um, this could be having to let go of an item that you really, really love or really like. It might be an item that either gets damaged, broken or lost. And I'm really sorry to say that, but it's, it's a possibility. For your love and relations, you have the Star card. So the relationship is the place that you find sanctuary and solace. And for those of you that have been through relationship challenges, this week they finally come to an end. Uh, you know, whether for good or for ill, uh, couldn't really tell you, but it does look like this week, <clears throat> the relationship gets to a better place. Maybe if for a select few of you, because you've got the two five of cups, the five of, uh, of uh, 
pentacles as well this could possibly even be that you and your partner say actually you know what it is time to call it a day and i want to do this so that we can remain friends you know from here on in very much a possibility it's like if it comes to an end it's on an amicable note um and it's like on the other side of it as well your relationship could pull through and end up being much stronger for all of the challenges that you guys have faced it's just going to depend on obviously the situation that you find your your relationship actually in for those of you that are um single and looking I mean, even with these cards, I wouldn't say that it's not a week for love. I just would say this week you might get more than you bargained for, or maybe what you get isn't necessarily what you were sold. Um, if you are speaking to somebody, especially with like an online connection or whatever, uh, this week is the week where you want fess up. I want to see you in person. I want to talk to you over Zoom or Skype or whatever. Like this week i think could be the decider it's like you know what yes i'm in or actually no you know what i don't think this is going anywhere no thank you all in all though i don't think it's going to be an awful week i don't think it's even going to be a bad week i do feel like it's going to be um not even so much an intense week i just think it's going to be a week of revelations more than anything else with that said i wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff have a fantastic week let me know in the comments how it shapes up take care and i'll see you soon